iconic. The production, legendary. It's not just the best show we've ever done. This is one of historical nature. The rights to produce Andrew Lloyd Webber's Phantom of the Opera are tough to get, but Moonlight Musical's general director and Texas Tech voice professor Gerald Dolter made a great pitch, a partnership of the students in the Texas Tech Opera Theater and the professional crew of Moonlight Broadway. If the show is available to certain colleges and universities uh, that the rights holders have confidence can put together a, a wonderful show. When people are here watching this, they're going to think that they are um, watching a Broadway show. To make sure of that, Dolter recruited David Gashin, a Lubbock native and tech graduate in vocal performance, who's played the Phantom on Broadway and around the world more than 1,500 times. I was totally excited. I couldn't wait. When Gerald called me and, and asked me if I'd be the Phantom, I, well, first of all, I was so honored and then excited to be able to be a part of it. Gashin even enrolled in a couple hours of graduate school to meet the requirements of being a student performer because this phantom is different. Well, it feels great to be back home. I feel a lot, I feel so much support and so much love. You know, the other ones are more of a job. This is more of an honor. <laughs> His influence on the show has been astounding, and uh, how he has raised the, the level of the artistic output of the students, he's brought them to a whole nother level. Twenty-one-year-old Marissa Hernandez has the challenge of matching this Broadway veteran note for note, and she's up for it. It's really just a dream come true, honestly. Christine has always been a role that I've wanted to play, and to work opposite David Gashin is amazing. I'm learning so much from him. There are more masters of their crafts behind the scenes. A student orchestra under the direction of Lubbock Symphony's maestro David Cho, choreography by Ballet Lubbock's Yvonne Rotz Key, and a host of professional crew members. This seat does not happen. A presentation this massive has its challenges. For example, and at the risk of spoilers, this opera chandelier over the audience comes crashing down to the stage at the end of Act One. The kind of insurance that it takes to drop that off of the ceiling onto the stage, there aren't very many insurance companies that insure that. That was a trick trying to, trying to find that company, but we found one. It's one of so many things that had to go right in this production, reportedly budgeted in the hundreds of thousands of dollars, but the results should be priceless. This is one of those once-in-a-lifetime events that you don't want to miss.